Good morning, my dear children. Today in English literature, we will be doing a new lesson, and the name of the lesson is the changing tree. Now, before I tell you a story about the changing tree, there is a little activity here, which says, match the trees to their shadows. This activity is a simple activity. All you have to do is draw a line and match it to the shadows. I'm sure you all can do that yourselves. Now, let me begin with the story of the changing tree. Once upon a time, there were four young princes who had heard about who had heard a story about this wonderful tree which was in the forest, and the name of the tree was the red bud tree. Now, none of these four princes had seen the red bud tree, and each prince wanted to be the first one to see that tree. So the eldest prince, as you can see in the picture here with the green turban, decided to go first into the woods, meaning forest, with the driver of the king's chariot. Chariot meaning a vehicle pulled by horses. He decided to go there and have a look at the red bud tree. It was the winter season and when he reached there, he had a look at the tree and the tree had no leaves or no buds. All he could see was that the tree was black and bare, bare meaning empty. Now, the eldest prince could not understand why this was called a red bud tree, but he asked no questions and he went back to the palace quietly. Seasons changed and spring set in. The second son of the prince went to see the red bud tree this time. This time, the tree was covered with red buds. It looked beautiful. He looked at the tree, admired it, and went back to the palace without uttering a word. Then the rains began and monsoons set in. This time, the third prince went to see the tree. When he went, when he saw the tree, he saw that the tree was covered with green leaves. And he thought to himself that there was no reason for calling it the red bud tree. Because all he could see was green leaves on the tree. Anyway, he went back to the palace. After some time, it was the youngest prince's turn to, to go to the woods and have a look at the red bud tree. This time, the red bud tree was covered with brown bean pods. Bean pods are long, thin, brown colored cases which are filled with seeds. These cases, children, when you break it open, you'll find seeds in it. And those are called bean pods. So when he looked at the tree, the tree was covered with little brown bean pods. He too thought to himself that there was no reason to call it the red bud tree. So he went back to the palace and he told his brothers that he had seen the red bud tree. When he said that, the eldest prince also said, Oh, even I have seen that red bud tree, but it was black and bare. The second prince heard this and he said, No, no, when I saw the tree had beautiful red buds and that is the reason why it is called the red bud tree then the third prince said what are you saying the tree is covered with green leaves and the last prince the youngest prince who had just come laughed at his brothers and said what are each what what are you all seeing i have seen that tree just now it is neither black nor bare, nor does it have green leaves, nor does it have red buds. All it has is the little brown bean pods. Now the king, who was their father, was listening to them discussing about the tree. After they had finished discussing, he walked up to them and he laughed and he said, My sons, all of you have seen the same tree. But each one of you saw it at a different time of the year. That is why you all saw the tree in different forms. So this was the story of the changing tree.